Biography Samdek Pri Agamoha Sangaraja Dipati Tep Vong. Samdek Pri Agamoha Sangaraja Dipati Tep Vong, the 12th of January, 1932 to the 26th of February, 2024, was a Cambodian Buddhist monk who served as the Great Supreme Patriarch of Cambodia until his death in 2024. He was well known for his role in re-establishing the Cambodian monkhood after the Pol Pot period and for his links to dominant political leaders after the 1980s. Biography Childhood of the Pagoda Child Tep Vong was born at Trapiang Chalk village in the Creve commune of the Siem Reap municipality, and at the age of 10 went to study at Wat Reach Bo in the provincial capital of Siem Reap. At the age of 16, he was ordained as a novice at the same temple but, because of family duties, only assumed robes for nine months. His preceptor was the abbot of the temple, the venerable Hing Mao. At the age of 21, he was ordained as a bhikkhu at the temple by the same preceptor. He was made Kru Sotra, the second-ranking monk of the temple in 1956. Surviving the Khmer's Rouges like almost all Cambodian monks, Tep Vong was forced to leave the monkhood during the 1975-9 Pol Pot regime. During those years, he was able to flee to Vietnam according to some sources, but this claim is subject to debate. Later, during the Vietnamese-sponsored People's Revolutionary Tribunal from 15 to 20 July, 1979, Tep Vong accused Pol Pot himself of executing 57 monks, including three of his own nephews. Tep Vong was subsequently more merciful towards the Khmer Rouge leadership, even comparing Aing Seri to Agilimla, the ruthless brigand who completely transforms after a conversion to Buddhism. Reordination and Restoration of the Sangha after 1979 Tep Vong was the youngest of seven senior monks reordained at Wat Unalam in a state-sponsored ceremony on 19 September, 1979 in order to create a corps of ordained monks who could go on to ordain others and formally re-establish the Cambodian Sangha, which had been nearly destroyed by the Khmer Rouge. Some questioned his seniority and even the validity of this ceremony. The new monastic lineage did not re-establish the distinction between Mahanakai and Damute orders, which had existed prior to their annihilation by Pol Pot. Like most of the other monks ordained in the 19th of September ceremony, Tep Vong had already resumed the life of a monk, probably in June, 1979. He represented the New People's Republic of Kampuchea, PRK, government as a monk on trips to Mongolia and the Soviet Union that year. He wore robes in August, 1979, when he gave evidence at the trial in absentia of Pol Pot and other Khmer Rouge leaders, testifying that agents of the Khmer Rouge had executed 57 monks in a single commune, including three of Tep Vong's own nephews. He also testified to having been put to hard labor during the nearly four years of the Khmer Rouge. Following the 1979 ordination, he was made Viney Thor, meaning that he was in charge of discipline for the monkhood. At first, the oldest of the seven reordained monks, Kate Vey, assumed the role of preceptor in the frequent ceremonies to ordain monks in the official lineage. For reasons of age, Kate Vey discontinued this by 1981 when Tep Vong assumed this role. At this time, in effect, Tep Vong became the leader of the unified Cambodian Buddhist Sangha. Instead of a ministry of religion, as existed before 1975, religious institutions in the People's Republic of Kampuchea were under the authority of the Solidarity Front for the Construction and Defense of the Motherland of Kampuchea, usually just called the Front. Tep Vong was one of the original members of the Front Central Committee and became its fourth vice president in September 1979. In May 1981, he was also elected a member of the National Assembly as a representative of the province of Siem Reap and became the vice president of the National Assembly in July 1981. The Socialist People's Republic of Kampuchea did not use the term Sangaraja, although the term is sometimes used to describe his position of leadership in the 1980s, which is more rightly described as president of the Cambodian Buddhist monks after July 1988 in a communist context. He remained the sole leader of Cambodian Buddhism until 1991. Leading the Mahanakai since 1991. Following the 1991 Paris Peace Accords on 23 October, which made former King Norodom Sihanouk head of state, the monkhood was once again divided into Mahanakai and Damayute orders. Royal titles were also reintroduced in the monkhood. On 8 November, 1991, in an official proclamation signed by Sihanouk, Tep Vong was given the title Samdek Pri Mahasomed Hadhipati, 
and a week later, on the 15th of November was named Sangaraja of the Mahanakai Order. Venerable Bor Kry was appointed Sangaraja of the Damayut Order by Sayanauk on the 7th of December. Tep Vong became an ex officio member of the Cambodian Throne Council on the 23rd of September, 1993. Tep Vong gave unconditional support for Hun Sen's leadership through all those years and beyond the 1997 coup. When, in the turmoil of the 1998 elections, 12 monks close to the opposition locked themselves up in one of the buildings of the temple Wat Unalam, Tep Vong did not hesitate to request Hun Sen's help to deal with this situation. In 2002, Tep Vong appointed Tim Sakhorn as an abbot, while knowing that the latter was not legitimate, being from Kampuchea Krom and not strictly a Khmer citizen. On the 16th of June, 2007, Tep Vong was forced to defrock Tim Sakhorn after the latter used his platform to promote nationalist ideology and was accused of immoral conduct, having women in his room. In 2003, Tep Vong issued a voting ban for the roughly 60,000 monks active in Cambodia. Under pressure, he rescinded that order in March 2006 so that monks could vote for the development of the nation. In 2006, Tep Vong was elevated to the title of Samdek Pri Agamar Sanghaj Dipati or Great Supreme Patriarch, placing him at the head of the two orders. He is the first monk in over 150 years to receive this title. Death Tep Vong died on 26 February, 2024, at the age of 93. The Cambodian Ministry of Cult and Religion attributed his death to an extended illness. His remains were placed at Wat Unalam for public viewing ahead of his funeral. Contribution Buddhism for Education, Reopening the Pagoda Schools Across Cambodia Tep Vong contributed significantly to the role of Buddhist pagodas in the re-education of Cambodian youth after the downfall of Year Zero. Along with his colleague, Venerable Aum Som, who was the monk with the most clerical education in post Pol Pot Cambodia, he contributed opening schools for both boys and girls in pagodas, from kindergarten to high school across the country to bring back literacy to Cambodia. Buddhism for politics, building peace together after years of persecution. After he was forced to flee his country for his attachment to his religion, Tep Vong returned to his country under occupation by an anti-religious Vietnamese Communist Party. Thus, he was able to negotiate the restoration of the Buddhist Sangha through his close ties with government officials, ties which, through the years, have been criticized. Tep Vong made visits to Mongolia and the Soviet Union to discover more about the appropriate model of church-state relations in a socialist country. Tep Vong was also given an audience with His Holiness Pope John Paul II along with Pri Moha Gosananda, becoming one of the international faces of Cambodian Buddhism. He was one of the co-presidents of the international organization Religions for Peace. However, Venerable Tep Vong was criticized by younger members of the Sangha for his ties to the government of Vietnam and for being close to the leadership of the Cambodian People's Party, which dominated the government. He came into conflict with younger members of the Sangha who voiced opposition to government policies and corruption, on one occasion calling publicly for the arrest of the organizers of an anti-government protest. In one instance, while president of the unified Sangha, Tep Vong put forth the argument that certain forms of political violence could be condoned by Buddhism. Buddhism for health, between social health care for the poor and harsh statements on HIV, AIDS. In his efforts to reform the Buddhist pagodas in Cambodia after the Khmer's Rouges, Venerable Tep Vong turned many pagodas into retirement homes for destitute widows known as the Don Chi who were given palliative care by the hundred. However, Tep Vong also took some controversial stands on health-related issues. He spoke out on several occasions regarding issues surrounding the HIV AIDS situation in Cambodia, in particular, following a 2000 conference organized for monks by the National AIDS Authority. Tep Vong stated that he believed that Cambodia's HIV AIDS problem had been overstated by Cambodia's enemies in order to discredit the ruling government. He also stated that HIV AIDS is a form of karmic punishment that is best dealt with by cracking down on prostitution and that monks should not take any role in treating HIV AIDS patients nor in disseminating HIV education. Certain elements of the Mohanakaya attempted to position monks as condits for educational materials regarding HIV AIDS, a position opposed by Tep Vong.